China finished second, and this is their best result ever in the tournament history. In the finals, you first beat Brazil 3-1, then got revenge on Poland 3-0 before losing to Turkey 3-1 in the final match. Looking back, in which areas do you think the team have gone through the most tests? I think we have become a more united team. Our teamwork is getting better and better, and the ability of our team was proven by the result of this tournament. But we did find some areas in which we need to work harder as a new team. Our teamwork could be better sometimes, and we had some big ups and downs. But we're getting a lot better than last year. So now we need to be more consistent in our performance, and I hope we can become a more mature team in the future. Although you lost to Turkey in the end, you still had some impressive performances this time. In the semi-final against Poland, who ranked first in the preliminary phase and beat China 3-0 in Hong Kong, you managed to turn that around and swept Poland 3-0 using the exact same squad. The same squad, but the result was reversed. What changed? I personally think that was because of the change of our mindset. In the semi-final against Poland, we were a more united and braver team than in the preliminary phase. And of course, we made thorough preparations to face them. I think having the right mindset during competition is a crucial task. So I feel that we did well, but we could not have done it without our coach's help. Looking back in this tournament, China won six straight matches in the beginning of the preliminary phase, then lost four straight before winning again and advancing to the finals. You've been through big ups and downs this time. How does that affect players' mindset? I think both winning and losing had a healthy impact on me, and I feel like the defeats even made me calmer in the following matches. I could see more clearly where our problems were and be more rational on the court. Every team goes through times like that, and those were experiences that we needed going forward. Because of those defeats, we were able to see our problems, and when we faced them again in the following matches, we were able to overcome those problems. Problems. Captain Yuan Xinyue said after defeating Poland that this result came from the team's hard work during training. The new China women's volleyball team were only formed in the beginning of last year. In what areas do you think the new team has improved since its establishment? We trust each other more. But I think the most important thing is that every member of the team was able to be there when they were needed. Every one of us was able to contribute during this event. You were named the best outside hitter this time. Personally, where do you think you've grown the most after the tournament? I think the biggest point of growth for me is that I gained more precious experience competing on the international stage. I could see my shortcomings, train with a clearer objective, and contribute more to the team. Next up is the Paris Olympics qualifiers and the Hangzhou Asian Games. Now, do you have a clearer goal? I think we are ready, and I believe we are able to achieve more. But sports are sports, nothing is ever certain, and that's the beauty of it. Our hard work might not give us the result we want, but it will give us hope. So I'm ready to face the challenges ahead together with my teammates and our coaches. China women's volleyball team have been through ebbs and flows, and now they start again. This is the sixth year since you joined the team, and you've worked hard to become one of the key players. Being one of the key players in a team sport, tell us how do you feel about the Chinese volleyball team? All of a sudden, it's been six years. First of all, the Chinese women's volleyball team is a group that I'm very proud of and lucky to be in. China's women's volleyball team has a special glory that shines on all of us. That glory is built from generations of hard work and fighting spirit. I don't know if I can extend this glory, but I will always have dreams, and I believe hope lies just ahead. The Chinese women's volleyball team is like my home, and I will give all I have for this team, as our team spirit that is passed down from generations is what gives me strength.
Of course, it's difficult, but everybody is going through the same hardship. We have to face injuries. Training camp means separation from our families, and we repeat the same training routine every day. I see this as a responsibility that I have to shoulder. We have the responsibility to carry on the glory of the team, as well as giving all we have to be better volleyball players.